I'm Dr. Raymond and welcome to another uh, anaesthetic machine check tutorial. Last time we, we looked at a simple induction uh, uh, machine with a Bain circuit and now we're going to look at a, a circle system. This is a, an Astiva 5 uh, um, machine and uh, we're going to run our way through it as before. So we'll start off, make sure the machine is turned on, uh, plugged in, switch on at the wall and then we're going to go around and check the uh, pipelines, do a simple push-pull tug test not too vigorously, just to make sure that they're nice and secure in place. And we're going to go around and check that the, uh, the cylinders are in place. We're going to just briefly turn them on and off each one of them in turn. And then we're going to come around the front, just put this back. And we're going to check pressures. First of all we're going to look at the pipeline pressures to make sure they're all around 4 bar and then we're going to look at the cylinder pressures and make sure they're adequate. So a full air and oxygen cylinder will hover around 130, um, so 100 these two are acceptable. The nitrous will always be hovering around 50 until it's almost empty, um, so when it drops below that then you have to start thinking about changing it. Now we're going to move on, check the flow meters in the back bar. For me I find the simplest way to do this to use the common gas output. So we're going to flick that open to use the um, auxiliary out output. We're going to go through the flow meters in turn. We'll start with uh, the air, go through the full range of the flow meter, turn it off. Then the nitrous, check in the hypoxic guard. And then finally the oxygen. And we'll drop that around to six liters for the rest of the test. I'm going to briefly occlude it now, looking for the drop in the bobbin. And then we're going to move on to checking the vaporizers. I'm going to turn the Seba fluorine vaporizer on and again make sure that there's a drop in the bobbin while this is on. While that is on, we can check that the desk flame can't be turned on, which it can't. We'll turn off the Seba fluorine and we'll make sure to turn on the desk fluorine vaporizer and it should go to its full limits and back off again. But don't do a back test with the, va with the desk fluorine vaporizer just because it can damage the electronics. Okay, we're going to flick that common, the auxiliary output off now. We're going to go back and check the circle part of the system. I'm just going to remove the filter and face mask and put a second bag on to the end. We're now going to pressurise the system, so I'm going to close the APL valve completely. And we want to bring up the pressure in the system. On here we've got a dial that tells us what the pressure is in the system, so I'm going to get it up to about 40 centimetres of water. And then we're going to turn off the flows completely. I'm just going to wait for a while and just check if any leak in the circuit. If there is a leak, then we'll see that the, this red bar will slowly drop down, which it's not, not doing. So we're happy that there's, um, this is a fairly secure at the minute. We're now going to also check, there's no, another check for the uh, leak in the back bar is by turning on the vaporizer in this state. And again, there's no drop in the pressure in the, in the system. So we'll try with both of those, and that red bar just holds steady. Okay, next we're going to squeeze one of the bag and make sure that the air is transmitted into the other one and vice versa. And also checking that these one-way valves on here are rising freely and they're not sticking in any way. The next thing we're going to do is check the APL valve and make sure that that's not sticking. So again on here I'm, I'm looking at the red line and as I open up the, the APL valve the red line should drop smoothly with the, uh, <clears throat> with the release of the APL valve, it's not sticking in any way. If it's holding and then suddenly drops, then we know that the APL valve is uh, stuck. And we open that to the completely open position to, uh, for safety. Now we're going to check the ventilator. So we're going to flip onto the ventilator mode, put a bit of air back into the system, make sure the bellows are fully risen to the top. And uh, we're just going to go for a couple of cycles like that to make sure there's no major problems. And then we're going to turn off the flows completely. And then watching for the next four or five breath cycles, the bellows should com uh, completely fill the, the bottle again, go right to the top, which it's doing. If there was a slight leak in the system, which I'll demonstrate now, it won't rise quite to the top, and you know you need to hunt around for a leak. Okay, we'll flip that back to the bag, get it left into a sensible state for our next case. I'm going to put the filter and mask back on. Again, I'm just going to check the, um, the auction flush 
and make sure there's no <coughs> problems with this part of the circuit. I'm just going to feel and hear the air against my cheek as I'm uh, pressing the option flush, making sure all the connections are tight at both ends. And we should be reasonably ready to go. You know, the final test we've got to do is just obviously do the normal checks on the monitor to make sure the settings are as we want them. We're going to check the suction, turn the suction on, make sure you've got a clean yanker, and then you can generate around minus 500 of pressure in the system. We go around, we'll check the side here, we can check the scavenging, which we checked at the beginning was turned on the wall. And there's a little float here that tells you whether the scavenging is at the appropriate level. And also making sure that the soda line is, um, uh, hasn't been exhausted. And that's uh, nice and fresh in there. And we have a spare ambi bag on the side of the, uh, um, uh, of the machine. And then obviously we'll go on and check our railway devices after that. Okay, so that's about it. In the next tutorial we'll have a look at a slightly more complicated advanced machine. And uh, we'll see you then. Thank you.